Once upon a time there were two friends named Yeshe and Kunka. One day Yeshe had to be away from home for a few days. He met Kunka and said, I have to go away for a few days, and I am number 39. Am afraid people will steal my savings while I am number 39. Am away. Would you please hold the jar of money for me? Very willing Kunka answered. But he is not an honest person. When Yeshe left, he took a jar and poured money on the ground to look at for fun. But the gold coins are so beautiful. They light up and make a loud noise. Kunka caressed them, looked at them endlessly, and suddenly he felt very miserable if he had to leave them. Anyway, Yeshe dozen and hash thirty-nine. T need money as much as I do, he whispered. He hid the money, filled the jar with sand, and waited for his friend to return. Dear friend, something terrible happened while I was away, Kunka said immediately, looking bewildered. Imagine that as soon as you leave, the next day all your money turns into sand. That and number 39, as strange Yeshe replied, but he was in and hash 39, T fooled. I have never heard such talk. But what can you do? He took the jar of sand and went home. Then one day it was Kunka and number 39, S turned to be away from home. But he was worried because he had to leave three young children at home. Where to put them? They cannot stay home without someone looking after them. So he found his friend Yeshe and asked her to take care of his three children while he was away from home for a few days. Why not? Yeshe said. You can leave them at my house, I will take care of them like my own children. When Kanka left, Yeshe went to the market to buy three cute little monkeys. He brought them home and named them after his friend and number 39, S. Three children. He taught the eldest child, Sanam, to close the door, the second child, Padma, to sweep the floor, and the youngest child, Lamo, to make tea. Before Kanka returned, Yeshe hid the three children. Then he waited for you. As soon as he arrived, Kunka immediately asked where his child was. Dear friend, something terrible happened while I was away, Yeshe lamented, tears as big as peas rolling down his cheeks. I have to tell you some scary news. Imagine that after you left, I woke up the next day and felt devastated your children had transformed. That and number 39, S. Impossible. Kunka screamed, his throat tight with terror. But yes, you will see clearly for yourself, Yeshe said sadly. Sanam, where are you? Go close. Kunka called. Father, I and number 39. M coming the big monkey grumbled, running to close the door. Kunka didn't and hash 39. T have a drop of blood left. Padma, go sweep the floor. He shouted. Father, yes now. The second monkey howled, slowly took the broom and swept the floor with one stroke. And Quat, alas, that and number 39. S right, and Quat. Kanka thought to himself, almost collapsing but trying to call out. Where is Lamo? Dad, do you want some tea? I will bring it right away. How terrible Kanka sighed. I never believed that children could turn into. That is as possible as gold coins turning into sand, Yeshe said indifferently. But, my dear friend, actually my money does an and hash 39. T turn into sand, Kanka admitted shyly. I like to hear you say that, Yeshe replied, and, my dear friend, I must confess to you that your children do not turn into monkeys any more than my money turns into sand. So Kanka returned the money to its owner, 
and Yeshe returned the child to him. The two friends hugged and kissed and the incident was over. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.